Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this differential amplifier circuit and this circuit is designed using the ideal op-amp. So here, we have been asked to find the input impedance which is seen by looking into this input voltages V1 and V2. So first of all, let us find the input impedance which is seen by looking into this input voltage source V1. And for that, we will consider this voltage source V2 as 0. So let's say the current which is flowing through this resistor R1 is equal to I1. Now here, since V2 is equal to 0, so no current is flowing through this resistor R1 and R2. That means this non-inverting terminal is connected to the ground through this resistor R1 and R2. And due to the negative feedback, we can also apply the concept of virtual ground. That means this inverting terminal will also be at the ground potential. That means V plus is equal to V minus is equal to 0 volt. So now this current I1 is equal to V1 minus 0 divided by R1. Or we can say that this V1 divided by I1 or this input impedance which is seen by looking into this voltage source V1 is equal to R1. And the value of this resistor R1 is equal to 47 kilo ohm. That means the input impedance which is seen by looking into this voltage source V1 is equal to 47 kilo ohm. Similarly, now let us find the input impedance which is seen by looking into this voltage source V2. And for that, we will consider this source V1 as 0. Now let's say the current which is supplied by this voltage source V2 is equal to I2. Now here, since the op is ideal op -amp, so no current is flowing into the op -amp terminals. That means this current I2 will flow through this resistor R1 as well as the R2. So if we apply the KVL in this loop, then we can write this voltage V2 is equal to I2 times R1 plus R2. Or we can say that this V2 divided by I2 is equal to R1 plus R2. That means the input impedance which is seen by looking into the source V2 is equal to R1 plus R2. Now here, this R1 is equal to 47 kilo ohm and this R2 is equal to 470 kilo ohm. That means this input impedance is equal to 517 kilo ohm. So from this we can say that the input impedance which is seen by looking into the source V1 and V2 are 47 kilo ohm and the 5 and 7 kilo ohm respectively. And therefore, for the given question, this B is the correct answer.